Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video has been long in the making. I've been referencing it for quite a couple of weeks, but now it's finally time for a full phase of Makeup Revolution and all of its sub-brands. So I've been accumulating some stuff over the past couple of months, weeks, years. <laughs> I, I guess I don't really have a long history with the brand because for a long time it wasn't readily available here in the Netherlands. But now some of their products are available at Kruidvat. Well, they have been for a little while. And of course I can now easier find things online and order them without any additional fees. I think this has also changed in the last couple of years. Be that as it may, I still think I have quite a lot of products. <laughs> of course, Makeup Revolution is a very affordable brand. They have a lot of fun collabs. They have some pretty decent products. Overall, I'm always, I'm usually quite impressed with their quality. Not always. There are some hits, there are some misses. There's a lot of in between, but overall it's a brand that I, I feel comfortable taking a leap on. I think that's the way I should say it. So without any further ado, I think this is going to be a longer video, so let's get right into this full face of Makeup Revolution. Oh, just real quick before we get started, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Cecile, I live in the Netherlands and I upload two or three times a week with makeup related content, sometimes a fashion video. So if you like this brand, if you like makeup in general, just like I do, then subscribe to my channel and now let's get right into it. For eye primer, I'm going to use this Prime and Lock Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer. I've been trying this one out and I feel like it's really good. <laughs> um, if you're new here, I really like the Essence Eyeshadow Base and I feel like this is very similar. It's slightly pigmented but not so much that you have to really be careful with your application. I feel like it gives a nice smooth base but it still grabs onto my matte shadows as well. I'm also trying out a different clear primer from them. This one, haven't made up my mind about that one yet. Oh, by the way, if I haven't mentioned, most of these things I have tried over the past couple of weeks, months, years, etc. <laughs> but there are a couple of things that have been laying around here that I still need to try out for the first time. So it's a combination of first impressions and older favorites. So I thought it would be fun to use an eyeshadow palette that I haven't used before and only because it's not really mine. <laughs> so if you remember, um, Makeup Revolution did a collaboration with Game of Thrones, I think in October or something, maybe November. And I purchased the Mother of Dragon palettes for myself and I purchased this one for my mom. And I gave it to her for Christmas and now I can borrow it to use for this video. I did check it is still available and it's just so pretty and I thought it would match my sweater. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really pretty palette. There are actually more colors in here than I thought. There's some beige, some gray. All right, I'm going to start with this shade over here, which is called Direwolf. My mom doesn't even really like Game of Thrones. She hasn't watched it or read it. Um, but she does really like blue eyeshadow, so that's why I got it for her. So I think for a drugstore brand, I like the quality of Makeup Revolution's eyeshadows. I think usually their shimmers are not quite as intense as my indie brands, of course, but I do like them. And I think the color stories are very pretty and interesting. So I find that a lot of drugstore brands, they just don't really explore eyeshadows at all. They just make one neutral palette and that's in their collection for 10 years. But Makeup Revolution really makes an effort to make a lot of fun, colorful palettes as well as neutral ones. You know, for the price, it's really quite good. Now I'm switching to a smaller pointy blender brush and I'm going to deepen this up using the shade above, which is called Winterfell. Ooh, this is very powdery, but pigmented. See, I actually really like that. And this, these two shades are very similar to the two shades I always use when I use the Christmas Eve palette from Odin's Eye. 
And yeah, the quality of those mats are better. But I still think this is pretty decent. Now I'm taking this tiny flat shader brush and I'm going to add a pop of grey on my lower lash line. I think that'll be fun. So I'm going to start off with this deeper matte grey which is called Lord. And in my outer corner I'm just mixing them. I think I'm going to use my finger. I really want to use this blue. I think that's just so pretty. So I will. I'm going to take some on my finger. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to put it all over the inner part of my lid. Okay, this is insanely beautiful. <laughs> this is honestly such a magical shade. I did notice that in the Mother of Dragons palette, there was a yellow shimmer, quite similar to this one, but yellow. <laughs> and I was so amazed by it as well. It had that same metallic, almost duochromatic shine. That's really nice. <laughs> I can't deny that. I'll blend out the edges. I brought it a lot higher than my intention was, but oh well. And I'm taking this tiny shader brush and I'm going into the white. I love the fact that there's a light white in here. It's a very icy, silvery white. Now with the same brush, I'm going into the metallic gray or silver, some people would say. <laughs> and I'm putting that along the inner part of the lower lash line. I guess I'm partly covering up that gray shade, but that's okay. All right, I'm just taking this brush again, the smaller brand blending brush and I'm going back with the dark blue shade I'm going to add a little bit more of that I guess my only complaint with this palette so far is that I would like an even deeper blue or even a black but in all fairness there is a black in the other palette so if you have both of them, it's not an issue. And just for fun, I'm going to take my finger again. And I'm also taking this shade over here, which looks really pretty. And I'm going to use that in between the matte shade and the light blue shade. Sort of in a diagonal. Oh yeah, that's really nice. This actually reminds me a little bit of Glam Light Shimmers. Not quite as textured, but I do really like them. Yeah, I'm going to borrow this for a little bit longer, I think. So I do have one eyeliner from Makeup Revolution, but it's in a light green. And it wouldn't even be ugly with this, but I can't find it. So I'm just quickly going to use this light blue eyeliner from Kuitfat in my lower... Oh, <laughs> there are some lashes on here. And then I'm going to use... Just a regular black pencil in my upper waterline. But I forget. I have this um, this liner pow. <laughs> it is a liquid eyeliner, a black one. And I've actually been using this. This is, this is pretty good. But the weird thing is... Oh, I thought you had to push it again. It's already pushed. Yeah, it's already liquid never mind so as i was saying this liner the first time you use it you have to press it and then wait for five minutes and then more ink comes out and this was a couple of days ago that i did that and apparently i didn't have to press it again not yet this is a really nice fine felt tip liner some people don't like that but I don't mind it's a nice black formula I think it's pretty easy to use Oop, that went pretty quickly now the mascara I have on the other hand <laughs> I thought it was going to be a good one because look at how giant and and green the bottle is I thought it looked so cool this is the big lash reloaded ultra black ultra black volume mascara and it has a pretty big wand but I think that's the problem 
I can't get close to my roots and without getting mascara everywhere and I just can't coat my lashes the way I would like to. I'm fine with plastic brushes but they need to be very small in order to function properly and on the lower lashes it's really just a disaster. So I feel like this mascara was made for giants with very giant eyes but very small hands <laughs> and um, not necessarily for me. However, what I do really like from Makeup Revolution are their eyelashes. So I actually bought two more of these because they were on sale for about two euros. These are my favorite eyelashes at the moment. They are the Beetlejuice X Revolution and they're, they're multi-layered and they have longer little strands. And for some reason that just looks so flattering on my eyes. So this is a fresh pair. And then another pair of eyelashes that I have for Makeup Revolution are these from the Minnie Mouse collection. I think that's all the ones that I have. And they're a little bit longer. They're more similar in length, but they're the same sort of wispy style. And I honestly think their lashes are really good, really comfortable. And I think for today's look, I think for today's look I'm going with the Minnie Mouse. So let me just pop these on and then we'll get into some face makeup. Alright, I'm back. Lashes are freshly applied. And unfortunately I did pull out a little strand while trying to clean off some glue. So I don't think their life expectancy is going to be that much longer. But in all fairness, I have worn them for at least 15 times already. So I feel like that's still pretty decent. All right, let's get into some face makeup. And we're going to start off with the Super Base. As some of you may know, if you've been watching my videos, this is actually one of my favorite primers at the moment. It sort of acts as a moisturizer. But it's a little bit better than that because it does, I feel like it does contain or um, restrict my oils coming through on my nose. And I also feel like it gives a nice slippery base for all types of face products to go on top of. And I even like it right underneath my eyes. So I think this is a really good product. It's just a little bit thick, so you have to really <laughs> massage it into the skin quite heavily. And it's not the most moisturizing thing. I have normal skin, and for me this works, but I feel like if you have very dry skin, you may also need a moisturizer underneath. But I do actually really like this product. Then we're going to do some color correcting. I have this uh, color corrector in yellow and green. I didn't pick up the, the peach and red one. I feel like maybe I should have. And even though people keep saying that, or some people have told me that you can use this yellow part on top of redness as well. But I personally really like it on the places that I just applied it. <laughs> so I like it to cancel out my darkness underneath my eyes. And I like it to cancel out grayness near the corners of my mouth and near my hairline. The only thing is, these are pretty pigmented. So you have to make sure <laughs> that you don't use too much. And I keep wanting to use too much because it's just a lot of fun to paint on your face. And granted, I don't do this step very often. And it's not the most easy color corrector to work with. You have to work really fast because it's a pretty dry product. But whenever I do, I do feel like it looks really nice. <laughs> so I'm taking the effort today. So for my redness, I'm taking the green one. And you'll see, this one is a lot more logical for me to use. So I'm putting this all over my cheeks, a bit on my nose bit on my forehead, bit on my chin. I mean, it's very clear that I have more redness than dullness in my skin, but I kind of like using both of them. All right, and now that my face has this weird sort of almost sickly color, I think this shows that these color correctors are just a little bit too pigmented for me. I personally would benefit from 
I think they have one in their Revolution Pro collection, which is a little bit more, it looks a little bit more like a concealer, made a little bit less heavy and also a little bit more light green. I think that would be more appropriate for me, but I have this one, so I'll make it work. Then for foundation, we're going to use the Blur Stick Tint. There aren't a lot of foundations available in my region from Makeup Revolution. I found this one. It appears to be a little bit light. <laughs> I do also have a concealer. Both of those I'm trying out for the first time. Yeah, so this is really light and really pink. But it does feel sort of nice. I'm just going to have to use it because I use that color corrector and otherwise my face will be green and yellow. This is definitely not my shade. The shade is called Fair and I am Fair. And there aren't even that many shades, so I figured I was usually going to be the lightest one. So I just put a little bit of that everywhere. Maybe it'll blend out, we'll see. I do think this looks pretty nice. The coverage is sort of light medium, so the fact that it's a little bit pale and a little bit pink for me doesn't really matter a lot. I think that's going to work out with just a little bit of bronzer, but I think this is a pretty dry product. So I think it's supposed to leave sort of a velvety finish, but on me, with my normal skin, it just looks a little bit... Mm, I don't know what's the word. Powdery. Yeah, it looks powdery. So I think for me, this is going to be more of a concealer. I think underneath my eyes, this formula will look better because I feel like it's a little bit too sheer as a foundation. And I also think the color will work better for me. So that's how I'll use it in the future. But I do have a separate concealer, so I felt like I should use it. This is oddly small. So imagine this package coming in with these two products. Obviously, I thought this was the concealer and this was the eyeshadow base, but it's the other way around. <laughs> anyway, this is the Conceal and Define. I also have another concealer, it's just white. I really like that actually to lighten up other concealers. This one is in the smaller packaging. I have it in the shade C1. I think this is going to be a good shade for me, especially with this very light uh, foundation. Also going to put a little bit on some problem areas. So while I'm letting that sit for a little bit, I'm going into the one brow product that I have from, from the brand. I did try this out. I don't know if it was in another video or just on my own. This is the Clear Brow Gel. And I didn't have that high opinions of it the first time that I used it. It honestly looks and feels like water. I'll show you how much it moves in the container. It just looks like water. It has the hold of water and that's about it. But I've recently discovered that some brow gels shine whenever you put a, a different brow gel on top of them. So two weak brow gels make one strong one, that kind of idea. So that's what I'm testing out today. Uh, so I'm going to take this tinted brow gel from Kruidvat in the shade Blonde. This doesn't have enough hold on its own as well. And I'm going to put that on top of the Makeup Revolution. See, I feel like that Makeup Revolution is really just water. Because it doesn't do anything good with this other brow gel. Yeah, honestly, that might be the worst product I've ever tried from the brand. I know I've tried some things that I'm like, is this really what it's supposed to do? Or is this really the best they could do? <laughs> but this honestly, this brow gel is like so much worse. It really doesn't do anything. I'm just going to take the same concealer or foundation brush and I'm going to blend out this concealer. Yeah, I do really like this concealer. So I think it has easily a medium coverage. I don't think it's much more, but a good solid medium coverage. I think it's a matte finish, but not too drying. 
it feels a little bit creamy underneath my eyes but not like it will really settle into my fine lines i feel like it blended out easily the shade range is pretty good and looks better than the foundation that's for sure all right let's go into some cream cheek products so i have two cream bronzers this one i tested out in one of my latest videos it's a little bit warm so i think i'm going to go for this one this is a beautiful cream bronzer i like the other one too um this is supposed to be charlotte tilbury dupe it's really not because the color is not not a contour but more of a bronzer and i do like this but it's very warm and very yellow this one however i like even more because this has a very thick texture a very nice smell which i cannot define and this one just doesn't easily look like too much which is always good and i think this undertone is a lot more flattering so i'm putting on quite a lot actually more than i was intending to do but the undertone is really nice it's not even a true contour but it is more cool and I think it's the fact that there's a little bit of pink in here. Which just makes it look a little bit more flattering. Especially whenever I have this really pinky toned foundation on. However, I did put on way too much. I, um, I see that now. <laughs> so I guess my claim about it being uh, idiot proof wasn't really true either. <laughs> So I'm quickly stopping with that brush and I'm going to blend out the remainder with this foundation brush. Yeah, so I think I definitely used too much, but I think I fixed it. Now I think for cheek products I have the most options. And I'm a little bit conflicted because I really wanted to try this one, the Hydra Bright. You know what, I think I'm just going to. Quickly to show you. I used this one in one of my latest videos. Really nice blush. Excellent, not excellent. Um, decent highlighter. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I like the Super Dewey's. Although they do dry up after about a year. But the colors are really nice. I did pick up this really nice neon shade. Um, I've also recently reviewed this Balm product. Which would be really pretty with this look. But I want to use this one. Then I have this big stick which looks really intimidating and pigmented <laughs> i'm just showing you the options and i think that's all the options i had <laughs> yeah <laughs> so what i want to try today is this one from revolution pro they also have a pink one but i got the peach one and this is their cream blush and i think this is supposed to be charlotte Til tilbury dupe as well i don't have the charlotte tilbury product or oh, no, wait, I do. <laughs> I, had the, I have the mini one, but I have it in pink chasm. So now I have the peach one. So you just unlock it. It has the same applicator and now the blush is coming out. <laughs> and I think peach will look pretty with my eye look as well. Oh yeah, this looks really nice. Honestly, I really like the Charlotte Tilbury one as well. But I'm not against trying dupes every now and then. Yeah, this color is really pretty. It's more of sort of a coral, I think. And it's glowy, but I don't think it's too glowy. It's definitely not as glowy as that balm that I was almost going to use today. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, let's set things with a little bit of powder. I have this powder from... Makeup Revolution, of course, just their regular brand. It's a dual powder. So there's the same powder in a pressed version and in a loose version. I like the pressed version more because it's a little bit less intense. And also because this loose one is very messy. Yesterday, I just casually um, screwed it open and powder was flying everywhere because it wasn't... Yeah, I'm not going to show you. It's just a messy container. And I like the pressed powder better anyway. So we're going to use that one. There is a little mirror in here. And this is a pretty decent powder. I'm just going to use it underneath my eyes. And a little bit in the center points of my face. 
I will do speed reviews later this month and I'll compare it to some other favorite powders of mine like the Givenchy Loose powder. But just know that I do like this one and it does work well. All right, highlighter as a penultimate, yeah, that's the word, right? Penultimate step. I have this little palette here that I want to use. I got this as a free gift with purchase at some point this year. And I think this is a highlight palette. Yeah, it is. So I think I would use this one as a bronzer, these two as blushes, and then this one as a highlight. And there actually is also a mirror in here. This is a really cute little thing. This is the glow lights. And I feel like I have enough blush and enough bronzer. So I'm just going to do the highlight. I'm taking my highlighting brush and I'm going into that white one. A nice icy highlight. I like it. This is a really cute little palette. All right, I'm also going to take a little bit of the peachy shade and I'm going to put that sort of in between the blush and the highlight just for fun. <laughs> it's definitely more of a highlight than a blush, but I do like it. So now that we're super duper glowy, <laughs> I think this is enough highlighter. Yeah, I do think so. We finally need some lips. I just want to share one favorite, maybe two favorites with you before I apply my final lip combo. I really like this lip trio from the Minnie Mouse collection. These I honestly wear all the time. I also like the Miami Lights lip liner set that I have in pink. And then... I also kind of like their lip oils. They're really liquidy, but they're nice. They're nice and juicy. But what I want to use today is this lip contour kit. I thought this also had a gloss, but apparently it's just a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. <laughs> and I bought this in the shade Brunch. And I think it's going to work with my current situation. Okay, so this is a little bit more pink than I was anticipating, but it's nice. It's a really nice creamy pencil. Yeah, I'm not sure if this was the color I was anticipating, but I do really like it. So this is the liquid lipstick and I often, I don't really wear liquid lipsticks anymore that often, but I wanted to give it a try again. And honestly, this is a pretty good match for the lip liner. So yeah, this is probably going to dry down um, pretty heavily and then I'll add the lip oil on top because I don't really like the feeling of a liquid lipstick. But I do really like the color and I think it works with everything else. So after all of that, this is my finished look with all Makeup Revolution products. I hope you enjoyed me using all, seeing me using all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.